everyone. So this is day three of the 31 thoughts that God thinks toward us. Today I am going to be sharing you have peace. That is the thought of God. It is that you have peace. And look where I am in a peaceful area. It's kind of peaceful, right? There's like cars that are passing by <laughs> and there are children who are playing at the playground so hopefully you can hear me uh, pretty well but it is that you have peace you have it it is yours and so our focus scripture will be coming from John chapter 14 verse 27 it says peace I leave with you my peace I give unto you not as the world giveth give I unto you let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Now, listen, with the hustle and the bustle of life, maintaining your peace, even for some attaining peace, is such a phenomenon because it almost seems like it slips through our fingertips. It almost seems like we might feel like we have a grasp, but quicker than we can just count to three, our hand is open and we are again dealing with the effects of fast-paced life the effects of people always pulling on us the just effects of our jobs and our families and the various roles that we have as women or as children of God um, as human beings there are a lot of things that we want to do for ourselves. There are a lot of things that we want to do or need to do for others. There's a lot of different positions that we play in life. And sometimes we can probably find ourselves a little bit overwhelmed and stressed and filled with anxiety, even depression and feeling just like the weight of the world is on our shoulders or that we just need to just steal away because it's too much but the thought for today is that you have peace it's kind of like something that you put in your back pocket yes and you can pull it out at any moment that you need it it is there the scripture said peace i give unto you it's a gift that the Lord has given up given us now it's up to you what you do with that gift it's like for uh, Christmas when someone gives you a gift for Christmas you can either value it and see how it will work for you in your life or you can put it with the other gifts that you're probably end up re-gifting for next year um, but it's a gift that we can use and that we can pull on when we need it at any moment. So if God has given us, given us a gift, then we have the ability to access it. We have the ability to bring it to the forefront of whatever situation, whatever event, whatever emotion that we are facing. It is the peace of God. It is the peace that he has allowed for us to carry within ourselves so that, like I said, any moment that you need it, you can just pull on it. You can just say, God, I need for you to just help me to rest or just say in this moment, I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to take a deep inhale and a deep exhale or saying, hey, I'm gonna steal away really fast to a quiet place. That way that I can like reco recollect myself. The word peace means to have quietness. It means to, as I said, have rest. It means to set at one. One, and for me, that means that we're finding that not necessarily a balance, but our own singleness of heart, our own singleness of mind and of thought and of emotion, where we are not giving half of ourselves over to this ministry, half of ourselves over to our family, the other half over to our job. It's not different um, parts of ourselves that we are just kind of like spreading all out everywhere, right? Because it feels like, you know, we are just kind of like spread thin, but it is finding all of those different pieces 
pulling it back together to be one at the end of the day in the middle of the day at the beginning of the day at the quarter of the day whatever time i can find myself back at one square one with my god who is one and that is my peace being able to when we get like super mature in the lord amen because i know some saints who are where we can be in the midst of a storm similar to jesus and we can just go to sleep we can just say you know what i'm gonna close my eyes i'm gonna let the lord handle this i have nothing to do with it i can't do anything with it if i put my hands on it it's just going to make it even worse it's going to make it blow up even more it's going to make it explode it's going to exaggerate i'm gonna be stressed out i'm gonna be under the table in the dark crying in the closet i'm gonna give it over to the lord i'm gonna like just as he gave me the gift of peace i'm gonna give him the gift of my troubles i'm gonna give him the gift of my my worries and i say it's a gift to the lord because he says to cast all of our cares on him cast all of it he also says come to me come to me and i will give you rest if you are burdened if you are in trouble come to me the lord does not desire for us to carry the weight of this world our world our little old world on our shoulders he does not want us to keep it on the inside until we are like a volcano that explodes. And then we got to just call in all types of uh, reinforcements and we got to perform some spiritual surgery on you. And no, he says, come to me, come to, I want you to, I am the person who gave you the peace. So if you need a refilling or if you just want to cast your cares, I'm here. My arms are open to receive what it is that you don't want to carry. Because you don't need to carry it. You can carry it if you want to. But I am here. And so we have peace. Don't get it twisted. I know we are in like a mental health crisis since the pandemic. Way before then, way after, but the answer is on this side that we have peace. We have God's spirit dwelling on the inside of us. We have the comforter. Now listen, at the very fundamental level, comforters, now when I get in my bed, when I am tired at night, shh, I put that comforter over me. And it's just, it's just like, that's it. Lights out. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I ain't got to think about how I'm asleep. The comforter is giving me rest. The comforter is comforting me. The comforter is wrapping his arms around me. The comforter is giving me that safety and that security. Sis, you have peace. <laughs> that's the thought for today when you think that you have to go to these uh, other places to find it these people to find it you gotta wait till you're a certain age to find it a certain uh, status to find it to have a certain degree to have it when you have the Holy Ghost when you have God's spirit dwelling on the inside of you, it comes with all of these benefits. You gotta know, we have to know. We have to remember too, what is in our benefits package. We gotta go and check every now and then. Okay, cause my job just sent out an email today that we got some perks at T-Mobile. So um, we gotta go and check and checking by reading the word of God. This is why it's so important that we know that I know what the Lord says about me, what the Lord says about all of us, so that when life just becomes too overwhelming, when it becomes too loud, I said loud, I can't get over that, loud. <laughs> when it becomes too loud, 
we can already know where to go like muscle memory having every word to fight against and combat every negative thought emotion that we experience and so then like how do we sort of like um put having peace into action we're gonna uh activate it by going to philippians 4 now this is my absolute favorite like clunk of scriptures because it is one that is 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 it's just so important to me that i have peace because i found myself not having peace or not feeling as if i had peace not understanding how to activate my peace and so philippians 4 just gives us some practical ways which we can attain our peace and that is through our thoughts it gives us what we should be thinking about think about things that are pure think about things that are lovely think about things that are just think about anything that would evoke a praise out of you think about all of these things it also talks about going before the lord in prayer again casting our cares on him asking god to either take the situation from us or to help us to have the peace within that situation and there's an airplane passing by that was not a part of today <laughs> but i encourage you to look at philippians 4 and just to, to think that this is what I need to get my peace. Start with the mind, okay? So, sis, do you have peace? Do you have it? You have it, you have it, you have it. You have it, you have it, you have it. It's not in some uh, strange unknown place. It is not... Um, something that you are going to get from going to somebody to just talk about your problems and to share how you feel about those problems although that has its place what I'm talking about though is the peace that God gives us that no man can give us that no woman no thing no job no relationship no ministry no money can give us he says, I'm giving you peace. I'm leaving it here for you. I'm leaving it. I'm giving it. Will you receive it? So that's your word on today. That's my word. Listen, you have peace. And so I will see you tomorrow.